uh, my name is Gladol Kozak. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to bake a simple uh, banana bread. This recipe I got it from a baking book that I got some time last August, not this year, the year before. I just decided, well, I should go back to baking. I used to bake when I was a teenager and I just decided, well, let me just try something not new but something different and I decided baking is one of them so I went back uh, I started simple so uh, banana bread is one of the simplest um, way to go back into baking or for amateur bakers uh, what I have today the ingredients uh, they're just about five ingredients that you need I have uh, 300 grams of flour. I have mixed nuts. Uh, whatever you choose is up to you. I have um, pecans, I have walnuts, and a mixture of um, pistachios. I have 400 grams of uh, bananas. I have uh, sugar, 135 grams, but I am using uh, brown sugar. But generally, I use uh, custard sugar, but I didn't have any in the house, so I am just improvising. I have four um, beaten eggs. You need one uh, cup, uh, one uh, teaspoon of baking powder. You need um, a lemon squeezed into the banana for mashing. And uh, I need a uh, melted butter. This is melted butter, butter that you just need uh, 125 grams for the mixture. Uh, and then we can get on with the business. So I just need to add one teaspoon of baking powder onto my flour, onto my flour. Uh, I mix the sugar as well. I mix the dry bits together, dry ingredients together. Just mix them thoroughly. I usually don't um, sieve my flour, although it's advisable to do that so that you will separate the air bubbles and um, I'll take my lemon and I squeeze it into the banana so that it doesn't change color and uh, mash the bananas make sure that you're using bananas which are ripe not too ripe that they are falling apart but just ready and ripe ready to be eaten but not too ripe that they are falling apart and while you are uh, preparing your ingredients also remember to put um, the oven on I have a gas uh, fan mask so I will just put it on 160 degrees. If you have uh, gas, use gas uh, Mach 3. And um, for the people in America, it's 325 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. It's just a little bit of pounding. The good thing about this cake is you don't need to use any gadgets other than just your mixing bowls and just mashing the bananas. The rest of the stuff you are just mixing them in one bowl and uh, your ingredients are ready to go, which is the most simplest way to start baking. Other than that, the most the other cake to make, which is simple to do, is uh, when you're baking uh, 
a sponge cake, which I, not, I don't necessarily like baking. I haven't even done a sponge cake in a long, long time. a week just by the bananas and whatever is left over hasn't been eaten before the end of the week I just make a banana cake and I have a piece at least each day I have a little piece sometimes for dessert we have it with the custard potatoes. They are really good to go. I still have a little bit of lungs but that's not a problem. They tend to get cooked and get mushy into, into the cake. The cake takes about um, an hour and ten minutes, depending. Uh, I usually put it an hour and, and ten minutes, but you can put an hour between an hour and ten or fifteen minutes, uh, depending how you feel. And you will always check your cake is uh, fully cooked by putting in maybe a, a, a toothpick to see if it's dry inside, or any other gadgets that you may have to check. So that is my flour. So what I need at the moment is now to mix up the wet ingredients. So I will need my four eggs. So I'll pour them in. And then I will pour my bananas into the flour. And then I pour my melted butter. And then I will proceed to mix them all. You don't need to do anything special, just with a mixing spoon, just mix them together. And it's kind of like a pasty uh, consistency. dense it's not very light as well it's just an in-between consistency sugar is a little bit dense for my liking so I will just add a little bit just a little bit of um, uh, a, warm, a little bit of um,
for me, the thing about banking is it just gets my head off things, and I just enjoy the finished product. Sometimes it's something very simple, yet it just gives me um, that sense of I've accomplished something for the day. It doesn't have to be particularly something very big or important. It's just yeah, something that I've accomplished for myself. And I can say that day I did something. Um, and also something that uh, my family will really, really enjoy. Just having a bit of cake coming from school or coming from work for tea. I guess it's, it's good. I'm not putting the whole bit, it's just a little bit. Just adding on a little bit. I will leave the rest. I don't want it to be too light. So, just mix that one. And then I can add on to my nuts. So I am happy with this now. The mix looks a little bit better as I would normally have it. And then now it's time to add the nuts. So we just add into the mix. what you have and now it's ready to be put up in, in the tins and put into the oven. Uh, my oven is ready so I have my baking tray this one that I prepared earlier, so this one I'll pour some of it and some of that I will pour in another container. It depends how big your uh, banana baking tray is, but mine is not that big, so I have to so I pour in. So out of this I make two. loops and then the other one I need to prepare the paper for it Uh, my cake is definitely now ready to go into the oven. Um, so. 
So, uh, I will put uh, the time on the oven, which is uh, an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, and now we wait for it to bake and of course it needs cooling maybe an hour after baking you can be able to serve it with warm custard. Uh, we'll wait and see the results. Alright, so the cake is ready now to be pulled out so I'll put off the timer and now I, it's ready to come off from the oven. I will switch off the oven and then I will grab the cake. So that's how it looks. We need to empty it into the racking so that it cools off. So what I need to do is just to lift up from the baking paper onto the front end and then I just flip it over and I'm be able to leave it on the rushing so that there is proper airflow. Sorry about that one. Then like this one. Flip it over. And basically that's um, two banana loaves from uh, four uh, ripe bananas that you could, you've left lying about and you don't know what to do with them. And uh, yeah, make uh, something sweet for the family to, ha to have a bite. Thank you. Um, you're welcome to um, subscribe and uh, Let's keep this journey going together. Thank you very much. Bye.